Welcome to this demonstration video of Feature IDE. In this demo I will show you how to configure large product lines with Feature IDE. As example we use this eShop product line. As you see in the editor, the corresponding feature model is quite large with several hundred features. Obviously it is difficult to know all features and their relations. This especially makes the configuration of products difficult as well. Let us start by configuring a new MT configuration. Here in the editor you see the configuration as a tree. Let us start the configuration process by searching for known features. For example, as we have a shop, we want to sell products. So let us search for products. Here you see that we can define the product type. We can either sell electronic goods, physical goods and services. So let us assume we want to sell physical goods. As you see in the tooltip, physical goods implies other features. So also these features are selected as well. As feature IDE does not allow inconsistent selection states and automatically selects implied feature selections. To further understand features and their relations, we have this view. Here you additionally see the relations and group types of the features. So for example, these three features are in an OR group. Furthermore, you can also deselect features as well. So let us deselect registration. You can see that all sub-features are now deselected as well. However, you still see all features at once. To reduce the information you see and to guide you to a configuration you want, we want to use the structure of the feature model. As feature models are usually structured, the higher level features describe a general part of the product line and their children describe more specific parts. We want to use this structure. As you see here, the general parts are storefront and business management. To use this structure, we have this expand algorithm. That means if we select a feature, we might directly be interested in selecting and defining their sub-features as well. So for example, if our product line should have a homepage, we select homepage. And now we have the next question that we can select more specific features. For example, the home page should have a dynamic content. And again, the sub features are expanded. Okay, let's say it has a welcome message and personalized variation source. Okay, we can do this process until we have a partial configuration that suits our requirements. However, it is still difficult to get to a valid configuration. As you see here, the current configuration is still invalid. To guide you to the valid configuration, we propose a manual guided way using uh, open clauses. These are features that definitely need to be selected to get to a valid configuration. For example, taxation options was selected automatically. So we need to select the children as they are in an org group. Here highlighted with green. So let us select tax gateways. Again, the children are shown as they are uh, the next open clause and highlighted with green. So let us select this feature. The next open clause defines the payment type. So let us say, okay, we currently just want to support credit card. Um, we want to confirm, confirm the order per email and we want to ship per FedEx. You see, with few clicks, we already have a valid configuration out of this large feature model. This was configuration with feature ID.